After watching this video, you will be confident in answering this question in any interview. If you want to cover all the .NET interview questions, then please click on like and subscribe buttons. So let's start. What are the main JSON files available in ASP.NET Core? So we will see them one by one. First important file is launch settings.json. Now here you can set the things which are needed when the application is launching or starting. So things like the environment of the application can be set here. Like whether it is development environment or production environment, that kind of configuration can be set in launch settings.json file. The next type of file is app settings.json file. Now here configuration settings like database connection string can be set in this file. Now you know it is like the web.config in the ASP.NET MVC and web form project. The third type of the file is project.json file. Now in this file, it you can store all project level configuration settings. Now what is project level configuration settings? It's like the nugget package information, the version, the packages, the list of the packages, whatever your project is using, that kind of project level information can be saved or stored in the project.json file. Then we have this global.json file. Here you can define the solution level settings in global.json. So one is project level information and another one is solution level information. And solution level information will be stored in global.json file. And like you, uh, the app the names of the applications and the versions in the solution you have that all can be saved in the global.json file. So these are the four important JSON files which are available with the ASP.NET Core application. So this is the answer of this question. If you have any query about this question, then please let me know in the comment section and I will try to reply as soon as possible.